when we wrote the ordinance. Last December, Tim Burgess decided not to run for a fourth term on the city council. I, Tim Burgess. I, Tim Burgess. But now he's interim mayor after the resignation of Ed Murray. So whoever wins Burgess's position eight seat will take office right after election results are certified November 28th. I'm putting forward a proposal. And John Grant is eager for the job. The reason I'm running for Seattle City Council is because I really believe that we need a community voice on the city council. Grant is the former head of the tenants union who ran unsuccessfully for Tim Burgess's at-large council seat two years ago. We've been going around the neighborhood and talking to folks. In August, Grant placed second in an eight-person primary with 27 percent of the vote. His endorsements include Seattle City Council members Shama Sawant and Lisa Herbold, the Seattle Transit Riders Union, the Democratic Socialist Party, and the Stranger newspaper. As of mid-September, Grant has raised about $283,000, 249,000 of that coming from the city's new Democracy Voucher Program. We're going to be the voice of the community. We're not going to be accepting money from outside interest groups. In 2015, Grant was on the city's Housing Affordability and Livability Agenda, or HALA Task Force, when he abstained from supporting the so-called grand bargain between developers and advocates. New Mandatory Housing Affordability, or MHA, policies require 2.9 to 11 percent of new residential units to be affordable. Grant says that's not enough. He wants to require every new project to have 25 percent of its units to be affordable. We are seeing an explosion of growth and we have an opportunity to have the city use that as leverage to demand for more public benefits like affordable housing. Grant is also hoping to shake up police reform in Seattle by opening up officers union negotiations to the public and giving the public the authority to fire the police chief. I think that we need to actually have civilian oversight of our police department if we're going to change that culture of impunity that exists in, in our police department. And Grant wants higher taxes on Seattle's big businesses, like Amazon or Starbucks, to pay for more services for the homeless. These are some of the wealthiest corporations in the world, and we have an exploding homelessness crisis. Something's got to give at some point. Good to be back home, huh? Teresa Mosqueda says many of her opponent's plans simply don't pencil out. I'm interested in solutions that actually work. Mosqueda, a longtime labor leader, was the top vote getter in the August primary, earning 32 percent of the vote. Her endorsements include interim mayor Tim Burgess, plus council members Sally Bagshaw, Lorena Gonzalez, Rob Johnson, Deborah Juarez, and Mike O'Brien. She also has endorsements from the King County Labor Council and the King County Democrats. As of mid-September, Mosqueda has raised about $271,000 for her campaign. 173,000 of that coming from democracy vouchers. I think this city needs somebody who's going to stand up and fight for the rights of everyone in this city. Mosqueda says if elected, she'd continue the city's work to protect refugees and immigrants who feel targeted by the policies of the Trump administration. We need to be able to live in the city that we work. However, she says her opponent's plan to increase housing affordability requirements to 25 percent is not realistic. She wants to bond against voter-approved levy dollars to build more affordable homes, develop publicly owned vacant land, and find other tools to add to the city's HALA plan. Create the housing that we need now for the community that's here and the community that's coming. So that's why I'm saying let's move forward with the HALA recommendations, but recognize that's just the platform. With her background in labor, Mosqueda says her opponent's idea to negotiate police union contracts in public would erase years of work on officer accountability. You don't get to a good negotiation if you bust it open and have people grandstanding, politicizing, and polarizing the process. That's not how we create trust, and that's not going to get us to a contract. On the homeless, Mosqueda is not calling for higher taxes, but she does want to refocus city investments on better case management. So the proposal that I have actually pairs housing with more holistic health services. Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. It's a choice between two different progressive voices for the citywide Position 8 Council seat. I'm running for Seattle City Council. A decision voters need to make some progress on by November 7th. I'm putting forward really bold proposals to hold developers accountable and make sure that they pay their fair share. I look forward to working with the folks in Seattle um, to actually make this a city where we can all afford to live.